Hey everyone, a few of you have alerted me to the fact that this is indeed my 300th video to upload to YouTube, so um, I wanted to make this one a little more meaningful than my usual babble, so I have decided to highlight my favorite products of 2012. And what I've done is tried to find products that are new to me to this year, which was um, actually kind of hard because I do stick with a lot of the same stuff from my everyday products. But these were the ones that I've reached for over and over, for the most part I've used all year. There are some newer ones, there's even one that just showed up in the last couple weeks, but I know, sorry I almost dropped one, but I know that um, these are tried and true holy grail type products and will be staying in my rotation for a long while to come. At least in YouTube words. So, like what, a couple more months? No, I'm kidding. Anyway, let's start with skincare and hair care and then work our way through the rest of them. So for hair care, this should come as no surprise to you that I love the uh, Giovanni, the, the brand name is Giovanni and then the line is Too Chic. So it's the Giovanni Too Chic Brazilian Keratin and Argan Oil Ultra Sleek Shampoo and Conditioner. I have repurchased re these products more than any product I've ever used in my entire life. My husband uses them, my kids use them, and my hairdresser says that my hair has never been in better shape and it's all to this. So these can be found. I get mine at Walmart, I've seen them at Walgreens, CVS, Target. However, these are not kept with the regular shampoo and conditioners. These are always in sort of the natural organic section. So have a peek over there. I think Whole Foods also carries them if there's one near you. Um, for hair care, the other awesome product is by Aveda. It's the Pure Abundance Style and Prep um, Spray, I guess. It's just a little spray pump shake it up and you spray it in wet hair, dry your hair, and you get nice pageant volume. No, I mean, you can control. It's not gonna be a huge helmet, but I love this stuff, and it lasts quite a long time in your hair. Um, the facial stuff that I have been ex especially in love with this year, um, one is a moisturizer. It's the CeraVe Facial Moisturizing Lotion. This is the AM version. I also use the PM at night, every night. And this is found at the drugstore. It's on the pricier side, maybe $15, but um, it's fabulous. My dermatologist really, really likes it as well. And um, it has, the daytime has an SPF of 30. It has hyaluronic acid. It has niacinamides in here. All good stuff found at the drugstore. Love. And then for when my skin is not behaving, I have raved about this, but one more time, the Acne Free Severe Terminator 10, um, what do they call this? It's Advanced 10% Micro Benzoyl Peroxide. Like I said, fabulous little spot treatment. Don't go overboard, it's very powerful, but it packs a punch and for the most part, knocks out the big cystic hormonal acne in a day or two. So, good stuff. Let's talk about utensils. They're not always the most glamorous things, but they are what we use more than any other product, I would say. And um, I think these came out in 2012. The whole year has been a bit of a blur. Um, the Real Techniques brushes by Samantha Chapman, also known to all of us on YouTube as Pixie Woo, she designed and came out with her own set of brushes. And I think I own every single one of them except two. I don't have her Kabuki brush and I don't have the tiny little setting brush. But my two that are my standout favorites, although I do like all of them, is one, the I believe this is the multitask brush, and I use this, if you can't tell, I use this mostly for blush. I like the shape of the brush head, and I literally just push the brush, the brush with the blush, I just push it on. I just smack it right onto my cheekbones and, and my crazy hair. And I love it, and it's, it's great. It also has other purposes, hence the word multitask, but I love it. And then my most recent purchase, which I can unequivocally state is the best brush she's ever made, is the Expert Face Brush. This has replaced the Sigma F80 as the best foundation brush on the face of the earth, hands down. In fact, I'm going to go get another one so I can have two. It's smaller than the Sigma F80. It has a round, it's rounded this way and it's rounded this way and it's pinched at the sides and it's just the right density to, to just spread the product so smoothly and easily over your face. It's great for buffing and it, because of its size, um, you can get it in all the little nooks and crannies of your face and it's just that fabulous. And because these are 
synthetic bristles, they clean and dry so easily. Love this. Love it, love it. I will do a demonstration with this in another video, but loving, loving, loving it. Love it. Have I said I love it? I do. Um, eyelash curler. Such a big thing to use. If you don't curl your lashes and you're like a kind of like a low makeup kind of girl, at the, just curl your lashes. Just try it once. I guarantee you it changes the whole look of your face. And the one that I have found that I just love is the new one by MAC. Um, it doesn't have a spring. It's just your basic. Very, It looks very basic, but the shape of it just fits my eyelashes so well. I love it. And um, like I said, it's MAC. I think it's $18 or $20. And um, mine's a little dirty, a little gunky. It's time to clean things this week. So that's what I'll do after I film this video. And then the last brush, it's not the brush I want to share so much as the technique. In fact, I don't even know, this brush has no name. It has, I probably picked it up at the grocery store. But what I want to point out is it's a not densely packed, it's kind of, if you can tell, it's kind of loosely packed duo fiber brush. And I use this to apply highlighter. And this is something I've been doing new in the last six months or so. And it's just, I've used fan brushes, I've used smaller little contour type brushes. I've used face um, eyeshadow brushes, like blending brushes, but this has worked out the best. Um, it just, something about the way the bristles are fan out, but not, it just puts the highlighting product, it diffuses it really nicely on the cheekbones. It doesn't um, pack it too densely and make it like a harsh glare on the face. Um, I just really like it. And any, every company in the world makes a brush like this. This one is just a little cheapy I found at the grocery store. Then, um, since we're talking about the face, let's stick to face. Um, this foundation to me, I'm not actually wearing it today, but it is my all-time favorite foundation. It's the Bourjois Healthy Mix. Now I know for those of you that live in the United States, you're screaming, but I can't get it. Well, I live here too. Um, I have found mine on eChemist. Dot co dot uk. I'll put the link below. Shipping is free worldwide. Um, not the fastest shipping in the world, but it is free. And I think this is like 12 bucks. I mean, it's cheap. It's, it's the, it's the drugstore company that goes with Chanel. So it's very high quality stuff. A lot, I know a lot of makeup gurus overseas use it. Lisa Eldridge uses this every day on herself. And um, the only bad thing is if you live in the U.S., you can't color match yourself. I'm a four, I am wear 52. It's probably the most common shade for the lighter-hued people. Um, do your research online. If you can get your hands on this, you will not be disappointed. I promise. Blush has been something I have explored a little more this year. I just never like how blush looks on me. I mean, I know I need color in my face. I don't have very much on today. I did a very low-maintenance look today. But... Um, Blush just to me it just looks like it's just sitting on my face and it's just bam right in your, it just, I don't like it. But I have been playing around with different colors and there are two that stand out this year that have made me feel a little differently about blush. This one is from the drugstore. It's Physicians Formula Happy Booster Blush. This is in, whoops, there it is. This is in natural and it has all these cute little hearts and you swirl the brush together and it has a nice sheen. There's no glitter in it. And you can avoid some of the other hearts if you want a little lighter or less pink, but that's really packing it on. Um, it just gives a nice natural flush to the skin. Uh, if you use this, you wouldn't need a highlighter. Uh, I, I, it's just a nice natural glow. Really easy to use. And then the other one that I have used within the last month or two, I guess, that um, is new to me, and it's a matte blush. It's by MAC, so it's Matte by MAC. Let me enunciate it better. And it's Tenderling. And it's um, it's very neutral. You know, it's it's not brown, it's not pink. It's Brink. It's Pound. I'm making up a new word for this. I don't know what you'd call this, but whatever it is, it looks good on me. And I like it, and it looks like that. And it's just easy to blend and easy to wear and very flattering, I think, on my skin tone. And this is, this will be a favorite for a long, long time. Eyes. Oh, you know what? Let's not talk about eyes yet. Let's talk about some more face products. Um, two face products that I would not leave uh, on a trip without are my concealers. One I use for all over my face for blemishes and imperfections, if you will. The other is for under eye. The under eye one is the Rimmel Match Perfection. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Skin Tone Adapting Concealer. Hmm. 
I didn't realize it did that. It's a two-in-one concealer highlighter. I bought this out of desperation because my beloved Revlon under eye concealer had been discontinued. I heard good things about this and gave it a try and I'm really glad that I did. It's fabulous. I've talked about this a lot. I don't need to go into it except to tell you it's awesome. And it's easy to use. You just slap it on with the brush and then I just tap it in with my finger under my eyes like so. The other concealer that um, I use for blemishes and imperfections is the Urban Decay 24-7 Concealer Pencil. I use the shade NSA. I've said this before in many other videos. This has replaced all my other concealers. Really, all that I have in my makeup drawer is this and the other one. And for, I've had some questions on application. Again, let me show you. I just literally draw it on the blemish. Let's just stick it over here like that. And I take my finger and I literally just pat it in. The warmth of my finger melts it into the skin. I'm not rubbing at all. I'm literally just patting. And I don't know if you can tell, it's gone. I mean, of course you can see where I put other stuff, but it just absorbs right into the skin. It's long wearing, it's water resistant. I don't need to touch up throughout the day. Love. Okay, where are we? Those are face products. Let's do some eye stuff. So mascara. I have two standout products. The first one is MAC Prep and Prime Lash. And to be fair, I don't know if it's so much MAC Prep and Prime Lash or just a lash primer. For me, it has made a huge difference in all the mascaras that I use with flaking and smudging and getting the raccoon eye thingy going on. I will never be without a lash primer again. It has really made a huge difference, especially because I don't use um, waterproof mascara so this helps a lot. I use it top and bottom lashes and then my mascara of choice and I've tried a ton and y'all know what I'm gonna say join in and say it with me Jordana Best Lash Extreme hands down the best I get asked all the time if I'm wearing false lashes one time I was actually a couple videos ago but that that's it um, it's just that one time I don't wear false lashes I always make a mess of it so this will have to do the only place I've seen it in person is at Walgreens, not on the wall with all the other makeup, but at the physical makeup counter where the lady stands. That's where it is. Love it. My two favorite eyeshadow palettes this year, one's low end, one's higher. Um, the low end one at the drugstore is the Wet n Wild Walking on Eggshells. Yes, seen it a million times. Here it is for the million and first time. And, um, I just love. It's easy. Slap it on. Don't have to think. You can use it in a million, maybe not a million, maybe like four or five good different combinations of product placement. Very, very handy. And then for my higher end product, sorry, I have a fuzzy, um, is the Lorac Pro Palette. Well loved, well used, very dirty. I love it. Um, first of all, I love the packaging. Other than the fact it gets filthy, I love how thin it is, easy to store. And it has every color I could possibly need. It has the shimmer shades, it has the matte shades, all in the neutral category, although I can do a dark smoky eye. I tend to, pl I tend to play with these. Love them. Love them. Really, if you're debating between this and any other palette, like the Nakeds or Stila's, or this one is the most versatile, hands down. These are, these came out this year. These are the Maybelline Color Tattoo by Eye Studio 24 Hour Eyeshadow. It's a big name for a little pot. Um, the colors that I use the most, I would say, are Bad to the Bronze. Looks like that. And um, I actually use this next one quite a bit, Bold Gold. It looks pretty harsh. I have it on today. And I have um, Lorac Light Bronze on top of it, actually very natural look. I'd say very understated. Not natural. Nobody's eyelids are this color. That's not natural, but it's understated. And those are part of the permanent collection. And then my all-time favorite, of course, is the limited edition. And if you see this somewhere, grab it. It's the Barely Beige. And it's the, I think, the dupe for Max Bear Study, but better. Way better. And I will say that Chanel has something very similar to it. It's not so much a cream. Yeah, it's very similar. And these rock. These blow the Chanel ones out of the water. My Chanel ones all dried up, by the way. Just saying. Okay. I think that's it for eye products. I'm just looking at my spread. Um, last, here are lips. And 
The first one I want to show, I just want to say I'm sorry. I ripped on these suckers so bad last year. I just tore them apart, put them down, shamed them. And then somebody sent me one and said, just give it another try. And I have to retract my words and say, I really like the Revlon Lip Butters. I really, really do. I do. I do favor the darker pigmented ones better. I think the lighter shades don't come out as nicely. But I don't know if they changed the formulation, which I doubt. I don't know if my body chemistry changed. I don't know what happened, but now they work for me. And um, this one is Sugar Plum, and they're so easy that I'm not even looking in the viewfinder. And I just smack it on. You know, there is a lot of pigment, but it's not um, opaque. And they're very easy to use, and they're glossy, and yay. My lips are a little dry, but it's worth it. I don't know if that's the weather or this product, but... I like them and I have a lot of them. I like the cherry tart and peach parfait and the list goes on and on. So if you haven't had a chance to try one yet, give it a shot. Wait until you get a coupon for Revlon though. And the last product is also one of my big splurges and um, these are the standout product for 2012 in my opinion because they are so different from anything else on the market and they have just worked so well for me in so many instances and I'm going to get another one probably this week actually and these are the YSL there's a whole French word for them which I will put down below but we call them in America the glossy stains and these bad boys are amazing oops they're so bad that they just knocked the camera sorry um I don't wear them every single day I kind of save them for more special occasion wear um, when I'm going to a meetup, I've worn them because I know I can put it on and not have to touch up my lipstick. Meetings, parties, huge for parties. Um, they work like a lipstick with a built-in gloss. So the applicator looks like that. I don't know if you've ever seen it. So I'm not a fan of the applicator. It's kind of weird. To put whatever. But um, it goes on... The lighter shades, you kind of have to layer them a few times to get the depth of color that you want. But once you put it on, it just stays on and it actually stays glossy. And you can um, layer a lipstick on top or even another lip gloss on top. But they are long wearing and glossy at the same time. I have not found another product that works like this. I've tried the long wearing lipsticks. They're awful. They feel like someone has shrink wrapped your lips. It is not a pleasant feeling. It never looks right. It wears weird. These do none of those things. If you want to splurge, I will say they are expensive. They're $32 each. Okay, I almost have $100 of lip product here. That's that's just sick. But they work. I mean, they do what they are supposed to do. And for that, I give them a double thumbs up. And it is why I own three of them. And I love them. So if you want to give yourself a little holiday gift, give them a try. Um... Oh, you're going to want to know what I have. I have 15 as the pinker one, like the darker pink. And then I have 18 and 19, which are essentially the same color and was kind of stupid to buy two like that. But I would say 18 is the pinker, better one. I like better. So those are my favorite products of 2012. I hope you enjoyed it. It's been a great year. There will be more videos to come after this this year, of course. Um, but I am traveling the last week or so of 2012 and um, my upload schedule may be a little more sporadic so I just wanted to be sure that I got this one in before I hit the road. Uh, thank you very very much for sticking around for those of you that have been here since the first video. Thank you for your endurance and I question your sanity. For those of you that are new on this ride I'm glad you found me and I hope you stick around for at least another 300 and um, I hope that you know you enjoy my videos. It's always a work in progress. I do try to improve things. I'm working on figuring out how to film in HD. It's not so much filming in HD, it's editing and uploading in HD. That's a little harder for me. Um, there are some things that I have no intention of changing. So um, if you're looking for a more production quality, professional look with the white screen behind me and the fancy graphics across and the funky intros, that's not gonna happen. That's not me, that's not my channel. Um, what you see is what you get. There's very little planning, obviously, when I film these videos. I just kind of think of, I think about it a little bit what I want to film. I grab the products, I literally throw them in front of me, turn on the camera and go. It's all free association. There's no script. 
Only on one hand can I count the number of times I've even brought along notes, and um, it's very casual. And so if you want something a little more slick, I can recommend some people. I enjoy watching, but that's not me. I'm just not slick. I'm not smooth. And I'm so unprofessional. So on that note, thank you again for watching. Um, I really do treasure the time that you take out of your day to spend it with me. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.